Well, I'm uh, Herbert van der Sompel. Um, I'm actually uh, retired currently, but I've still have uh, affiliation with Ghent University, actually, uh, the computer science uh, department, and with DANS uh, in the Netherlands, which is a uh, data archive. I thought the session was uh, really interesting. Uh, some very good questions uh, afterwards. Uh, we've been focusing really on the capture frameworks and a lot of interest were more in the, the trust in the information that results. Uh, can people cheat uh, with the information that results and so on. The web archive itself also plays a role uh, to avoid the cheating because you will always have the double copy, you know, even if the original is gone from the live web, which happens all the time, you will have the memento that sits in the web archive that will have testimony for whatever a researcher claims to be theirs. Now the question becomes, would the researcher also have to give explicit consent for certain things to be web archived? And what would be the considerations for actually not wanting that to happen? I personally would love if my stuff would be archived, you know, because now I have two copies instead of uh, just one. But maybe there would be reasons that certain researchers uh, would want it not to be present in the web. I would get a bit worried uh, in that case because going back to the previous question, it might then very well be that they want to cheat in the future. So here's some uh, pedantic advice for the young professionals that are or want to be active uh, in the realm of digital preservation. And maybe the answer will be a predictable one, but it's really follow your instincts, follow what you really care about. I think I'm a personally quite good example. I've worked a bit everywhere uh, in the world, but if I look back at my career, I'm extremely happy. I did make those choices. I loved my time here at Ghent University. We did fantastic things with my team here, but I'm also extremely happy to eventually have made the decision to leave Belgium and go work in the Netherlands, where I've actually been able to pursue much bigger dreams than I would have been able in the context here uh, in Belgium.